Hi everyone, um, in this video I'm going to share with you a project for Lindy's Stamp Gang. I created this hanging sign for my daughter to hang in her room. And I used this album, um, I just used one of the pages, um, you can get this at Michael's, it's covered with canvas, and they're really nice, so I just created a hanging sign with one of them. I add some seam binding, um, which was just some regular white seam binding, and I just spray that with the Starburst in the saltwater taffy. And then on the um, board here, I first sprayed that with um, the Starburst in the My Mojito Green, and then I also sprayed it in the Flat Fabio in the um, T-Bird Turquoise. And then I took a paintbrush and just add some random um, spots right here using the Starburst in the Cotton Candy Pink. And then you can see here I use a stencil. It's a Prima stencil and I just use some Liquitex modeling paste. And then I tore some of the design paper. Um, it's from the Prima Divine Collection. A really beautiful papers. And then for this embellishment here, um, this is also available um, on Lindy Stamp Games website. Um, this is um, these wood um, embellishments. It's from Words or Whatever. And I use embossing powder. I use two different colors. I use the Cosmic Pink Blue. And I also use the Angel Wings Peacock. It's just really gorgeous. See that? And here I add some Iron Roses flowers. And I sprayed... Um, this flower with the Starburst in the Saltwater Taffy and in the Seagrass Green. And that's also a Starburst spray. And then this is the same flower. I basically just cut it in half and I sprayed it with the same colors, but I add some of the embossing powder in the Starbright Gold Green. And you can see that. It's, just, uh, it's really pretty. And then here I just add um, some trim. I use two different um, Webster's trim. And then for this um, doll here, this is um, the Prima. It's the mixed media doll stamps. These are really fun to work with. Um, these are quite large, and um, I just paper pieced with also um, the Divine Collection. And then I just took my Copic markers. I used uh, for the skin. I used the E00, and then to make her cheeks, I used the R20. And then for the hair. I used um, E25 and E71. Okay, and so um, I'm gonna make one of these signs. So let's make one. It's gonna be a little different, but I'm gonna pretty much use the same colors that I used on that sign. So we're gonna take one of these panels here, and I'm gonna first spray that with the Starburst spray in the T Bird Turquoise. So let's go ahead and spray that. Okay, and then I'm going to take the Starburst in the My Mojito Green, and then we're going to spray that. So I just spray like random spots here, and then we're going to go ahead and heat set that. And uh, these sprays spray really nicely on the canvas. And it just makes really beautiful um, backgrounds to your project. Okay, and I'm just going to take a paper towel and just blot it real fast. Okay, so you can see it creates a really nice background. Okay, and then I'm going to take the cotton candy pink, and I'm just going to take a paintbrush. And I'm just going to create random spots onto the page here. So I'm just going to take a paintbrush and I'm just going to flick it. And I'm going to add more to once I um, add the design paper on there as well. I'll we'll just heat set that. Okay, I'll just blot it a little bit too. Okay, so we got that, and now I'm going to take my design paper, which I went ahead and pre-cut. 
So I just took one of the design papers and just tore two pieces. And the glue I'm going to use is this, the Ultimate Glue. It's really nice, strong adhesive. And I'm just going to add some to the back here. You can use um, Mod Podge or any other adhesive to glue it. I like this one. So I'm just going to place it like so. And I'm going to take this one. And then also adhere that. Just place it like that. Okay. And then I'm going to take, again, the cotton candy pink. And I'm just going to create some more spots on there as well with the paintbrush. Okay, looks good. Let's just heat set that for a little bit. Okay, I'm just gonna blot it real fast. Okay, so got that. And then next I'm gonna add my modeling paste. So I'm gonna take my stencil here and I'm going to add some modeling paste to that. So I'm going to add some here. And I'll add some down here. And we just add a little over here. Okay, that looks good. And we'll just heat that a little bit. Stuff dries up really fast, which is really great. Okay, now we're going to take our doll, which I went ahead and cut it out, and I colored her hair with the same colors that I shared, and the face, and I paper pieced her headband and her shoes, um, but we're going to go ahead and glue the other two pieces. On the skirt, I like to add uh, dimensional pop dots to the back, so it kind of gives dimension to the skirt, so we're just going to... Add that to the doll here. And you can add lace to the skirt as well. I've done that to my other tags that I've made. And then this one we're just going to glue down. Okay, and then I like to add pop dots to the back of her as well. So we're going to add some dimensional to the back of her. Let's see, what did I do with my dimensional here? So we'll add a couple to the back of her here. Um, but I'm not going to adhere her yet, so I'm going to do my layering first, and then I'll kind of add her last. But she's pretty much going to go right here, okay? So we'll put her to the side. Um, next, I'm going to um, add my trim. So I'm just going to take, let's see here, did I put my trim? I just had it here. Okay. Webster's trim, so I'm just going to glue that. I'm going to layer two different trims here. So I'm going to take my glue gun here. I'm just going to add some glue down here. Okay. 
I'm just going to glue this down. I'm just going to trim that off. Let's go ahead and cut that out. It's really beautiful trim. Okay, and then I'm going to add another trim on top of that. So basically I'm just going to layer two different trims. Put that probably in the middle here. Okay, so do it like that. And we'll just cut this out. Okay, and then we'll just go ahead and add our doll now. So let's take the pop dots things out. So I'm going to add that, add her there, because so I don't want to cover that hole. Okay, so she's there. And now to make the flower, I went ahead, you're going to need, I think these are the daisy flowers, you're going to need five of these uh, flowers. Um, but I'm going to show you how I sprayed it. Um, so basically you're just going to take one of these and you're going to spray the center um, with the seagrass green. Okay, you're just going to spray that in the center and then you're going to spray it all over with the salt water taffy. So you're going to do that. Okay, and you're going to do that to both sides. Okay, and then once that dries up um, it's basically going to look like this. Okay, so you're going to need one for the bottom. The other two you're going to fold in half. And then you're just going to put that like so. You're going to fold another one. Oops, fold another one in half. And put that there. Like that. And then the other two, what I did was I folded in half, and then I folded in half again, and then I add some glue, and I placed it one in the center, like so. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other one. like so. And then I just take my glue and add a little bit in the center of the flower and then I just kind of give it a little squeeze. Kind of fold it like a sandwich I guess you could say. And that's what makes it all puffy like that. So it's all together. Okay? So now we're going to add that down there. So we'll add that here. It's a really pretty flower. Okay. And then on the leaves here, again, I sprayed it just like I did the other one. I sprayed that with the seagrass green first in the center. And then I sprayed it with um, the salt water taffy all over. And then I took a Versamark. Okay. So I took my Versamark pad and I'll just add a little more to this and I just add it to the edges of the flower. Okay, then you're going to take your embossing powder in the star bright gold green. Okay, and I'm just going to use a piece of paper here to catch my embossing powder. add this. And I'm going to heat set that. 
It's really pretty, the embossing powder. I'll show you how gorgeous it looks on the flower. Okay, so it looks like that. Okay, see that? So all I did was I just fold it in half and then I just cut it in half. And then I add it to the sides of my flower. So I'll add it to the side right here. And then I'll do that to the same with this one. Okay, just like that. It's really pretty. Okay, and then we're going to add some seam binding, which I sprayed. Um, I sprayed that with the saltwater taffy and the seagrass green. So we're just going to add that to the holes here. So it creates a little sign there. I'm just going to tie it in the back. It's going to tie a knot. Okay, so it creates the hanging sign, okay? Okay, so now we're going to add an embellishment. Um, again, this is available at Lindy Stamp Gang's website, and it's words or whatever. So I'm going to use this little cute little telephone, and we're going to emboss that. And I'm going to use um, just the cosmic pink blue on this one, okay? So you're going to take your Versamark, and I just turn it over and do this to it. Add some first mark on it. It's a really delicate piece. Okay, and I'm going to cover that with some of the embossing powder. Just take my piece of paper here. Just going to add some on top. Really pretty color. Let's put this back. Okay, now let's go ahead and heat set this. And these are always fun to add to any of your projects. really gorgeous color. I love the two-tone to the embossing powder. It's really pretty. I'm going to let that sit just for a second because it is a little bit hot. Uh, while that's cooling off, I'm going to take my little sentiment, which I went ahead and pre-stamped, and it says just saying hi, and I just stamped that onto um, the design paper and just created a little banner, and I'm going to place that on top of there. So I'm just going to take some, I'm just going to use my glue gun here. I'm just going to glue the edge. And then I'm going to place it right here. Okay, like the way that came out. Okay, I think that's cooled off. Then I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue to the back of this and just tuck that in here. Let me see how I'm going to put this in first before I glue it. I think I should have put her last. Mm. Might be too big for. 
I want it a little lower. Maybe we can tuck it over here. Mm. Yeah, I think I'll put it back up here. Yeah, I should have put her last. And I could have tucked the bone in more. Yeah. Looks okay. I'll just leave it like that. So I'll just add a little hot glue to that. So I'm just going to add it to the top and then just to the bottom of the phone. That should hold it good. Just lift my flower up a little bit here. I'll just leave it like that. That's fine. Okay, so that's what that looks like. Really cute. And then I'm just going to take, um, to finish it off, I didn't actually put this on my other sign, but I'm just going to take some um, random pearls, which I like to do, and I'm just going to take about three of them, maybe. And then just, I'll take five of them, actually. And I'll just put them in random places onto the sign here. So I'm using my cutting tool here. Pick it up. I'll just place it in random spots. Just gives a little um, extra to the project. I'll just put three. I think three is good. Okay, so that's my project. Um, it's a little hanging sign. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video tutorial. And again, all the information to all the Lindy Stamp Gang products will be down below. And thank you for watching. Bye.